Hi there, this is I am Moss with another vlog, another day. Uh, some while ago I done a video about the train and uh, we got stuck. We called us and break down the lines again. Today I came out. I was going for a job, a good one. I was going for an interview with the same freaking train again the same story so if you're out there when people talk to you about to come to London through Stansted Airport listen to this Stansted Airport there is only one train line it's not like Heathrow where you have underground you have uh, Heathrow Express and then you have Elizabeth line so you have different options so you can go so be aware, don't use the stand set. Or if you are using, prepare yourself, have some extra money in your pocket to get the taxi or very expensive public transport because also there is no another alternative. The only one is a coach does not pass nearby the, this train line. So I'm stuck here until the train moves, I can go back home. So, it's fine for me. Is the way it is, is life. But today let's talk about what happened to Musio. And uh, I didn't digest it all earlier. It took me some time to understand the whole story. But now I have seen enough reactions, enough proof of the video and also I would like to comment in this in a different perspective. Well, to be honest, I'm glad this happened to Rusio. I'm very glad, to be honest. Not in the sense happened to her, no. The, the way how this was captured and the way how this sends a message across to the vlog community and the tourists, the people intend to visit Kenya, not only Kenya, Africa in general. You have here a reality, a fact, something most of you might be saying, oh, this was just one off. No, it's not one off. <laughs> can give you a lot of examples. Good afternoon. So, a lot of examples can be drawn to your attention. But this particular one of Rocio have a very special signature. Uh, and the signature of Rocio is what you see in Latin America. This kind of Ajax robber people use motorbikes and go around. You see in Latin America, you see in Pakistan, and also you see in Iran. They used to do these things. But what surprised me, what shocks to me, is the fact that many vloggers never, never, ever, ever report something like this with an image, capture the moment, or even share in a, a, a such experience so here there is something very interesting that I want you pay attention some vloggers have been saying they went to the police station and uh, report the event and the policemen say welcome to Kenya that was a very ch childish of the police if I was somebody in power in Kenya, that police today was demoted and lose his job. Why? He just say how bad Kenya is. And not only that, shows to the world through the comments we hear from the people, not everybody, 
that the Kenyan police or the armed force, the CIDs and all that are not trustworthy people. We saw stories here, people sharing, people they lost 1.5 million and then they knew the person, they went there, they got locked. Even you be the victim in Kenya, you end up in prison. So there is another message here from the Kenya authorities, especially from the armed police forces. If somebody does do something wrong to you out there, don't come and report because you are the one instigated. We saw the case with uh, Chris Mass List. What happened to him when he went uh, with Uncle Mo to Mara, Mara, Mara also. So remember, I've sent to you guys, I got an elephant memory still remember these things furthermore there is a lot of events occur in Nyambuanzi where the police have been called in and the police <laughs> act on the pleasures in particular when a young vlogger was arresting because so the police doing wrongdoing. So all these things come together. Sends you a very needed message about the police forces in Kenya. Whatever, if we look the footage, if you pay attention to the footage, there is enough information with the new technology out there like Pegasus and other softwares to recognize and pinpoint that individual like IMRA took different site locations of the phone like an iPhone you can pinpoint where it is and by the police not trying to assist brings me back to another memory the story of Mayugno when Mayugno got scam he went to the police Mayugno said the police and Nyambo Wanzi they had a software to track the phone but then they didn't commit it they didn't want it they want to get paid to do their duties so if it was here in Europe in the United States that guy was done in three days or less than 48 hours there is a program in the TV uh, on TV if you look at research 48 hours research in fight criminals so what we read in this story and everything what you read we read first how these things go on and punish. This is not only in Kenya, in South Africa, the same story. In Angola, on DRC, and Kenya, Rwanda used a lot of tracking people, the political. But when it comes to political enemies, of the politicians these people they can pinpoint and go kill them find them and do whatever they want but when it comes to crime these people they're not interested they just laughed like this Kenyan police say welcome to Kenya for him that is normal in Kenya why he wants be bribery so you can imagine if Ayamara had bribery that police so what could be well could be a chain of people to be paid and uh, on the end of the day IMRA could end up bankrupt this is an all police forces in Africa oh there is no exception in any country in Africa this attitude not because there is no resources not because it cannot be done 
It cannot, can be done. There is enough proof evidence to track and find that individual. Nevertheless, what is more interesting here is the fact how people react and how react reactions, different reactors, positive, negative, whatever, out there are seen this. But none of them has took a lesson here in this video that we have a duty to reveal things that is happening in life of real people. It is sick, very sick. Uh, see people take this as a joke and some people wish bad wishes and the worst nightmares to receive. But I ask myself, for you to react to that point, why you go to that extent? What you have seen or she have done it for you? Go to that extent and a wish to a woman could be your sister, your mother, your auntie, whatever, such things. Well, humans are all different. Humans are species, animals with uh, different genetics. And those genetics, not all them are evil, but the evil spirit is always out there. But, not if, but, I extend my solidarity to Rocio, bravery and courage come out with the video and do that video in, in, in a such way, I call that the most beautiful content creation. Take the occasion and break it like ice. And people goes the action, the overdrive. Everybody's everywhere have something to say. That was very good. But also, how she have composed herself and realize the life in the village and the life in town, especially in Africa, is a big, big, big difference. In village you are much better off compared to towns, big towns in Africa. I can give you an example. If you go to Maputo, it's a hell seat. If you go to the CBD, Johannesburg, it's a madness. Ajax, robbery, murder, everything can happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen in 24-7, but it happen. Can happen. It's not the same when you go to Santum. Will this experience of uh, Rocio do a difference? No. Will not do much difference. I'm saying that because I have experimented in different countries. I have experimented in Cuba, I have experimented here in Europe, I have experimented in Tunisia, I have experimented in Egypt, in Maputo, in Harare, uh, also in Babani and Matsapa. This is Swaziland. These acts are acts they are coming and go through the human life. And sometimes we lose those small things 
that we get attached to and with love, respect and all that. But uh, there is something more on that, the human aspect here, is how people will talk and reflect about Kenya. Me? Kenya? <laughs> it's the same when I go to Johannesburg, I know. When I go to Johannesburg, I know I have to put my documentation on my balls. My cell phone has to be tight in my pocket. I have to have eyes all over my head. When I arrive to the International Oliver Tambo Airport, even when I walk in the street, the probabilities of wrong do happen to me is a million percent. Why we African have behaved like this? This brings us to a new debate, to a new page. Why we have to be like this? What we have to help others? Well, this is to do political. It's to do the pol policies when people they don't have work, where people have dreams, they can't achieve their dreams because but that guy with the, that motorbike, the way you were stressing to act like that, for me there is another indication there. And then especially what, how she was walking and how we drove, came from the back. For me that is what was planned. These people been follow Marwa from somewhere. They knew they could be they knew he was in that place and then they say, okay, it's our time. These people have money, these people have dollars. They knew exactly that guy does, didn't act on the God's sake of, no, he been tracked Maru. And this is the weakest point of Maru, always disclose his place. In the beginning, he used just to land, and then everybody, oh, he's already there. But this time, it's too much. I think Maro have to change his tactics and strategy of travel, never disclose where he goes, just arrive and surprise. Or may the people in the hotel, because they're so famous and everything, spread the word out because he's a very famous influencer in Kenya, that he was in the hotel. And the gangsters prepared themselves because that was an act of gangster. That was not, because I saw the picture when the phone was hijacked and then the location that I am put. For me, I concluded straight away. This was not just a casual event. No, this was not, in my point of view, to be honest, was not a casual event. Yeah. A casual event was the attitude of the policeman. Brush them off and say, welcome to Kenya. Every day happened. So if every day happened that, means that is a, a card of the government of Kenya to wish the tourists welcome to Kenya. So that is approved by the you know, guidelines of the government of Kenya to tell the police people when foreigners come, just tell them, welcome to Kenya and this is what is Kenya. So forget about. And this is put in line the reputation of the Board of Tourism in Kenya. I don't know how the Board of Tourism in Kenya are gonna come because these are people coming to Kenya bring revenues. These are people who sell the image of tourism of Kenya out there for free. And then these police people act like, <laughs> yeah, man, don't care, man. Just get a finger, put it in the back and then sniff. That is, but I'm shocked with all this behavior. Anyway, that uh, I, I am most today. And uh, please subscribe, share and comment. 
your own opinions about all this what happened to Rocio. That is quite a strange story. <laughs> yeah, to react or to talk about. I didn't even believe. Maybe no Arab teacher can ever end. <laughs> what about that theory? We need to start put here a conspiracy theory. Maybe it was an Arab teacher on that motorbike. Can be a surprise. You never know. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.